All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you see in the title, we are back in the Danger Ranger this year. So there's a few things that need to happen to this thing for it to be ready to go uh, for the actual race. And uh, but before that, let's uh, go ahead and check out some of the damage that's around the truck. So. All right, so I'm pretty sure the only real damage is this pit to the door here, which looks like the uh, bottom sill here is hit in a little bit, but just the door, so not so bad. The fender's just a scuff from the wheel, but that's probably about the worst. And then maybe a little scuff on the rear fender over there, but that's about it. And then I also ran over the front headlight not too long ago. But other than that, we want to change out this seat. The seat was absolutely terrible. The last time we did the race, uh, it was way too tight for me and I was kind of sitting up too high. So it was kind of squishing me down. So we're gonna throw one of these Kirkies in there for the time being, that should be much better. And then actually under the hood, I actually figured out, get the hood propped up here, but I figured out exactly why we were having issues with the uh, running on five cylinders and it was because one of the spark plug wires did fall off and then kind of melted on the header. So I put it back on. It seems like it's running better, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of the spark plug wires. So it's uh, too dark, but back in there, it did burn on the header, uh, but I'll replace all the wires for both sides. That way they're fresh and then we'll put a fresh set of plugs in it, change the oil. Um, I'm pretty sure I gotta make sure we have just water in there because it's part of the rules. Um, I might have an exhaust leak, so need to look at that. And then we will get into the alignment um, because we're gonna pretty much align it the way Cletus has his Crown Vix aligned. So there's just a few things that need to happen, but we'll do a quick little video on all the stuff, getting this baby ready to race again this year. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. got the old seat out, this trash seat, and now we are mocking up the Kirky in there. So I think we're gonna have to do some kind of flat bar mounts across to mount it to it since the old seat frame is just not uh, wide enough to fit the uh, new seat. We got a perfectly good two by four we're gonna mount it to. Oh yeah, it's legal, right? Legal. <laughs> All right, let's get the seat back in. All right, guys, so we're just trying to get the old Danger Ranger uh, a little bit safer than it was last year. We got a Kirky for it. Well, I don't even know if it's really safer, just more comfortable. We had this little racing seat in here last year, but it sat Eric up pretty high and wasn't that comfy. So now we're gonna try to get this Kirky in here. So the Kirky has these flat mounts on the bottom. And as you can see, this floor is everything but flat. So, I'm gonna get a piece of metal and go off of this hump to that one flat. And then once I figure out that level, come over here and make one as well for the other side. Should be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna have to avoid these electronics because I have no idea if it's for airbags or I think this harness goes under the truck somewhere, so. I don't need to mess that up. So just don't mess up any wires and make two little flat level surfaces. Shouldn't be that bad. Okay guys, so I actually didn't film doing this at all because uh, I was just kinda had a buddy's wedding yes last night. So I'm a little bit off today. I just wanted to get this done and it's just done. I messed up right here. I meant to have the diamond plate facing down, but I didn't, but you'll, nobody will ever see, so who cares? So got plate welded up over here, welded up here, made some little standoffs, and uh, got just two level brackets for the Kirky to sit on. 
all we got to do now is uh, get our holes drilled into those pieces and we will have our little turkey here mounted. All right, this is our seat mocked up in there. You can see it's going to fit in there. He's going to have a lot more room with the old seat. He was actually, he was up here. His head was up here and he was having to look down through the truck and that's not what you want. So he's a lot lower right now. We actually have an option to go much lower in the seat, which I think we are going to do probably. I don't see why we wouldn't get him a little bit lower, get him in the seat, but overall gonna be a lot better seating position for the Danger Ranger race. So we'll get our holes drilled in there, bolted on and Ranger will be, almost be ready for the Danger Ranger. All right, so I got the seat fully mounted in. I went, hit, went ahead and hit this with some paint so it wouldn't uh, rust on us and then got the Kirky mounted. And there's a little bit of space here, which I'd like to rock it back more, but we are hitting the, just about hitting the top there. So got to leave where it is, but let me tell you, this is a thousand times better than where the other seat was. All right, so most of the Ranger stuff is set up. We still got to do the alignment, maybe oil change, but um, that's pretty uh, pretty simple stuff. But I want to go ahead and show you, we're going to zoom out to uh, pick up something else. So uh, let's cut to that footage. So you saw us do the Danger Ranger stuff. And now I want to show you something that we, well, what I'm trying to say is, if you have something for sale with a cow hood that's at least four inches tall, this side of the Mason Dixon, your boy's buying it. Because we got ourselves a little drag blazer, which is gonna be the 2.0 burnout truck. And this thing is freaking sweet. I am so excited. I don't think I get more excited about buying chip boxes ever you know but uh there it is let's uh go ahead and get home and then we will uh get the guy's reaction to what we got all right we're out back guys should be here any minute take a look at it but we're out at uh twin peaks grab some food so let's see what they think of the old girl Look at the hunk of junk. Yeah, look how nice it is. <laughs> it's a bar. He uh I, I bargained with him, he tried to get to keep the cow hood. I was like, oh, hell no. Like, nah, you hell no, I gotta have my cow hood. Huh? Check it out. Oh race oh, seats man. in it? Custom dash. Custom baby. Shifter. Everything. Huge. Door panel even still in it, you know? Door panel? Street car. Yeah, I think they did. Love. Aluminum wheels? I know. I mean, it's got a like big, like big spool in it or something. Look at these fancy race seats. He said they're brand new when he put them in there. Hey. Oh, rear end in there? I don't know what it is, but it's got yeah. disc brakes all around. Didn't you buy it just to tear it apart? No. We're gonna, um, I don't know what it is. I guess it's, oh, she's blue. Yeah, she's real blue. Yeah, it's just 10 bolt. I think it's just 10 bolt. Yeah. But I didn't know they came with discs. I thought it was all. Yeah, 10 bolt discs? No. Well. Roll pan? This thing's fancy. Fancy, man. It's going to be the burnout 2.0. Nope. I don't have anything. I know, there's nothing in there. in there. We're good at, we're good at buying stuff with. Uh, you can see all the way through. <laughs> That's where, you know, we steal Trenton's engine. Cow hood, you know, that was worth it by itself. Cow. Gotta have a cow hood. All right, so unfortunately, right after I shot that last uh, uh, little um, footage of Fowler looking at the car, the uh, truck uh, got broken into. But for some reason, they didn't take anything. I got really lucky. They didn't take the camera. I had a couple cameras in there. They didn't take any of that. Um, I assume they were looking for guns or something. But I, don't know, I got lucky. There's glass all in the truck. I've cut myself a few times already, but. Uh, insurance will be out here to fix it, so we'll get that squared away. 
but we got the truck back and I'm gonna give it a quick little wash. So uh, get all this nasty uh, nastiness off of it and see what it looks like underneath all that. So let's go. three or four hornets just in there. I'm afraid they're gonna come out. Oh, there's one right there flying around. That's good. Look at the size of that motherfucker. Jeez. Get it, Fowler. Huh? Get it. Get what? Get the bugs. Uh it's a negative. That thing looks like it will kill me. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a little dark on me now, but do have the Blazer home. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I think I was really tossing around the idea of going with 350 or the LS, but I think we're going to go the LS route for right now. Um, I think I got my eyes on a decent motor. I might go pick it up after this. We'll see. Uh, got to take a look at it. Um, and go that route and then put uh, just leave the uh, Turbo 350 in that and kind of do really similar setup to what we had in this guy here. So uh, I think it's going to be absolutely sweet. We'll probably get it painted a certain color. We'll see. I don't know what you guys think. Leave a comment down what you think, what color we should paint it. But uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think. And I uh, hope you guys are excited because we are coming for those burnout competitions. going to take home that three grand. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Tell your friends.